Why are outlines always so complicated and confusing? Let's talk about one of the easiest ways to start one. Hey, I'm Megan, a professional writer, published author, and writing coach, and I'm here to talk to you today about the easiest way to start an outline for any short story or novel. I've tried the beat sheets, I've tried the snowflakes, I've tried it all, friends. Let me tell you something, there's an easier way. Tip number one, do not do what I do and start with an idea and think you can outline your whole novel based on that one idea. This rarely worked for me because I just had no idea where the story was actually supposed to end up. I had no idea who my characters were, where they were going, what they were going to learn. I just had kind of this vague idea of the story and thought I could outline based on that. Turns out you can't do that. But now I have an outline method that works so much easier. So before you outline, you need to know your premise. What is your story about? In other words, what is your main character going to learn or how are they going to change by the end of your story? The second thing you need to think about are your characters. Who are they? How are they each going to change? And what are they going to teach your main character? From there, you've got a pretty good foundation to start an outline. Now, I should mention this too. When you're starting an outline, just focus on the biggest picture points. Big, big, high level points. Things like main character does this, or main character learns this, or something happens that makes main character think about this. Seriously, like the highest level you can get the better. Then in subsequent drafts of your outline, you'll add in the details. I got the idea for doing multiple drafts of an outline from James Patterson's masterclass because he usually does, I think, six or seven drafts of every outline before he starts writing. So I like to do that too, and I found it's really helpful. If you're anything like me, you're going to go, okay, where am I going to start my outline? I'm going to start it at the beginning. It makes sense, right? Don't do it. Don't do it. My biggest tip for you with outlining is start in the middle. And I like to call this the turning point. So this is the point in your story where your main character, who used to really reject and fight against what they have to learn by the end of the story, is starting to pivot in that direction. They're starting to turn. Turning point. But essentially, it's the part of your story where your main character starts to believe the premise a little bit more. So in the beginning of your story, theoretically, your character is very anti-premise. They're anti whatever lesson you're trying to get them to learn. They're anti whatever change needs to happen in them. By the time they get to the turning point, something is starting to shift. They don't turn fully, but they just start to ease a little bit towards what they're going to learn and how they're going to change. So that's where I suggest starting your outline because you can think about, okay, knowing who my character is, knowing who they are when they start the story and who they have to be by the end, what kind of situation would cause them to start rethinking? And then from there, you can kind of work backwards to the start of your story and go, okay, how do they get to this turning point? And then you can also go, okay, where do they go from the turning point? So I like to call this like building up to the turning point, turning point, and then lesson learned. So that's a really easy way to start an outline. You can literally do it for any story. Every story needs a character that's gonna change in some way, they're gonna learn something. So instead of starting all the way at the beginning, start in the middle and I promise you, you'll have a way easier time of outlining. So that's all I have to say today about starting your outline in the middle. It has changed the game for me with outlining. That and starting with the big picture. I used to start trying to outline my stories with every little detail already figured out. It never worked. Give yourself a break, start with the big pictures and start with your turning point and it'll be much easier to outline the rest of your story from there. If you start your outline with a turning point and you're like, oh, I don't really know where to go next, leave me a comment down below and we'll talk about it. Thanks for letting me talk to you a little bit about why I firmly believe an outline should start in the middle. If you like these kinds of videos, give it a thumbs up or subscribe and I will see you next time. Take care. So the turning point doesn't have to be right smack dab in the middle. I just blessed them. <laughs>